all right what is going on you guys this is a very long awaited video for you guys well for some of you guys today i'll be finally doing another catch and cook i um, only did one on my channel but i'm gonna do another one today and we're out here in the middle of the day something i normally never do i don't ever come out in the middle of the day it is hot it feels like it's 150 degrees out here it's around 12 30 1 o'clock or so and we're just gonna come out here and catch a few fish or maybe a lot of fish depending on they're gonna bite or not we're gonna target some more of that green stuff like you saw in the last video and see if we can get them under that shade cooler darker area um and we'll see if we can get them out the water today and head to the crib and go ahead and fillet these fish for you guys the right way because uh, i don't think i did it right in the last video i'll leave a link up here so you can see that video uh if you want thank you guys for watching i hope you guys stay tuned let's go let's talk about the way things work here in this neck of the woods we have the mississippi river here in louisiana for all you guys that don't know where i'm from and this part of the river or i should say this is a spillway off the mississippi river they have stages river stages and uh right now the river stage is uh i can't think of the number but all i know is it is uh falling right now but it's about to rise so right now the river uh, Mississippi River is rising which means it's not going to be too long before this part of the river or like I said the spillway is going to rise as well so I decided to come out here today before the rise took place and see if I can get a few fish out here because once that river starts to rise these fish are just not going to bite at all I mean you may get some bites but it's better when the water is falling okay today we're just gonna kind of be throwing out this fast casting bait so I'm gonna be using this bait today probably a different bait just depends on what works but I hope you guys can see that it's got like a shad minnow type color it's black at the top kind of goldish sparklish at the bottom really good looking lifelike lure in the water you can't really see it because the water's so damn dirty but really good lifelike realistic bait i think it's going to be the key to catching fish today so we're gonna put it on and see if we can get any fish today um like i said we are fishing in the middle of the day so bites will be slow um but for the sake of doing this catch and cook in daylight, I decided to come out here a little earlier so I can make it home a little earlier to actually do the, the cook part of the video. Um, oh, there's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. Oh, Lord, that's not what we needed. But uh, actually, I might keep a few bass. That was actually a quick bite. I wasn't expecting to catch that this early. All right, you guys. Might have made a slight error in predicting if this is uh, falling or rising water. Uh, now that I'm kind of really looking at it, maybe, just maybe rising. Because uh, I'm looking at the water in the woods, and it wasn't there last time I was here. So maybe the water is rising just a little bit. Um, but we're not going to let that stop us from catching fish. And what I mean by that is this green stuff that you see which i think the scientific name well i actually don't know what it's called i think it's duckweed or duck seeds i don't know y'all know what kind of stuff this is this green stuff right here let me know in the comments down below but yeah this is going to be our key to catching fish today i believe that the fish are under this stuff right here it's hot i'm hot the fish hot everything's hot so uh i need shade but these fish actually have shade right here and it's this green stuff all right under here is going to be really shady cool water for the most part so that's what we're going to do we're going to target this area under here drop it down under here just kind of drop it down a little hard so it can go oh go through that grass whoa dude that was a fish yeah they're definitely under here you guys hold on let's drop it down again see it oh my god he hit it again did y'all see my line switch there it is there it is and that is a keeper fish look at that you guys it is one o'clock in the afternoon 150 degrees outside and these guys are biting under this stuff right here you just got to find out where they are look at that <laughs> i hope you guys can see that as a keeper fish they're really deep down there they're not really too far on the surface i don't blame them it's kind of hot up there what you really want to look for is those underwater structures if you feel yourself get hung up on something you're in the right spot that's more than likely where they're at oh there it is there's one uh 
he's not big enough, but still a good fish. If I was gonna hold for ladies, guys, then you would definitely be a keeper. Still a good fish, you guys, on the fast casting baits. Uh, Sackley minnow. That's what these are called. And I really love this color. It's a dark color, but it has that little kind of like the belly of a minnow. Really cool. All right, buddy, disappear in the green. So that is a tip for you guys. You know, if you have this type of vegetation in your waters, don't be afraid to fish it. No matter the, oh, damn, that was one right there. No matter the depth, you know, more than likely during the hot, golly, that was a good fish. Can't even get my words out. You can't see what's going on under this green stuff, but you can definitely feel it. Yes. There's one. Uh, you're kind of on the slim side, buddy. Oh, how did you break off? What is wrong with this line? The ground is hot. The kayak is hot. I know. You want to get back in that cooler water, huh? Oh, yeah, there we go. Another small one. Get a few keepers here. A little bitty guy. There's a good one. God, biggest one of today. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good one. Not a gigantic one, but they're like right on the outside of this tree right here, which is self-explanatory. That's a way better one right there. Y'all see this guy right here? He's tempting me. My fish are on the stringer right here. It's like he knows. Thank God he's just a small one. I can just whack him with my paddle, but he's slowly making his way towards me. So when I do catch a fish, she's gonna go for it. No. Uh, what are you eating? There ain't nothing even right there. Here it is, that's a good one. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Y'all see I caught a few more off camera. For some reason when the camera's off, I catch a ton of them. And then when the camera's on, I don't catch anything at all. This is actually one of the first ones I caught on camera in a while. And what do you know, it's a small one. A little small one. Could have fed it to that gator, but I don't like them like that. So, leave. Now. Ooh. Move. Oh, ooh, that's a good one. Oh, ooh, that's a good Oh, yes. All right, stay in the boat this time. Oh, that's a fat one, you guys. He's a definitely a keeper. We're going to fillet his butt. Caught it in this little opening right here. Looks like they're coming a little further out. And it's actually a little deeper right here, too. So, there's another one. Another good one. Oh, my God. Look at this. Don't lose him. Oh, I'm about to lose him. Oh, God. Okay, I got him. Woo, come here buddy, cause uh, y'all, y'all are stressing me out, I don't have no dog on net. Alright you guys, it only took about four hours out here, but starting to get some bigger ones. That is a really good fish. Oh, that's a beautiful black crappie. Of those fish you didn't see me catch uh, most of them was off camera so uh, but i did catch a few on camera so i uh, hope you guys enjoy those clips we're gonna leave go home so yeah we're gonna go ahead and go and i'll see you guys at the crib all right you guys we're at the crib now we're about to do the cooking part of this video i'm gonna go over the things you might need to clean these fish so what you're gonna need is the fish obviously uh you're gonna need a plate of some sort to put your fillets in and you're gonna use the fillet knife, okay? This fillet knife is electric, obviously. Got this from Walmart. I think it was about $20 or $30, I can't remember. But it's a really good knife. Uh, but the only thing is though, uh, the blades are dull, but uh, you can still get the job done. So I'm about to show you guys how it's done. So let's do it. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We got the fillet knife, we got the fish. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it today. We're gonna take this blade, put it right here, all right? Right behind the gill plate. 
button up here. Alright, so we cut it right here, so you got a big slant right here, which is fine. We're gonna take our knife, we're gonna go in. And right here. Right here is where you wanna get along that rib cage. And make your way down. Just like that. Flip it over. We wanna leave that skin right there too, so you got something to grip onto so you can get this other part. Right here. There you go. Now you have this little part right here, which is the ribs. So what I like to do is take it, put your blade right there against them. Take them off. And you're gonna go right here. No meat left behind. And there you have it. And a nice fillet. That's just one. And we gotta flip it over to the other side, which is basically the same thing. fish so I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the fish I gotta clean but after I get them all done we get to the cooking part where we're gonna use for seasoning and all that kind of stuff but yeah that fish has barely any meat on it tasting test so got our ketchup at the fish so we're about to dig in even though i already know what it's going to be like oh my god that is delicious all right you guys this is by far the best tasting fish i would ever eat all you need is ketchup i mean you can eat this without anything just as it is all right you guys we're going to be doing more videos like this we're going to be doing bass we're going to be doing redfish we're going to be doing trout we're going to do all those all right i don't think that's going to beat this but we'll see what we can do i hope you guys enjoyed this video man i'm gonna be doing more videos like this i actually like doing catching cooks if i can get here in time to actually do the cooking part so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel i hope i see you guys again soon thank you for watching mm -hmm. uh, too good.